Hello everyone, before I get underway with the Price is Right pricing game recap for tonight, a couple of mistakes I made on yesterday's pricing game recap that I now must correct. Number one, the brand of piano in freeze frame, I pronounced it as Nabby, it was actually just pronounced Nabe. And the double showcase winner, Rio, he won a ski boat. I said it was a ski do, it was actually a Sea Doo 180 Challenger power boat. I apologize for both errors. And I got information from NBC 11 news clips pertaining to the other three grocery products that were less than the target price of $5.50 in Grand Game. They were the Avon Skin So Soft Bath Oil Spray, the Valvoline Brake Fluid, and the Orida Steak Fries. Many thanks to NBC 11 news clips for the info. And now it's time for the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Wednesday, October 19, 2011. Today's pricing games played were the following. Temptation, Double Prices, Cliffhangers, Bullseye, Switch, and Line Them Up. The first contestant was Shannon. She played Temptation for a Mitsubishi Outlander Sport ES modeled by Marvelous Manuela. The first number in the car was two. Now the four prizes that were part of the temptation. First off, Awesome Amber brought out a laptop computer from Asus, ASUS, valued at $1,999. Shannon chose nine as the second number and not one. Next, Manuela brought out $833 in cash. Shannon chose the 8 as the third number and not 3. Next, Amber brought out a Dimplex freestanding electric fireplace. Amber had a little bit of a uh, dress pull up when the price tag was on her. Too bad they didn't show her panties. That would have been must see TV right there. I'm sure Neil Rocks 87 would agree with me on that. Anyway, it was $799 that fireplace. Shannon chose 7 as the 4th number, not 9. Finally, Manuela brought out a Fat Cycles Aloha Mahalo 3 Ladies Bike, priced at $550. Shannon chose 5 as the last number, making the price $29,875. She decided to change the 9 to a 1, making it $21,875. Felt really good on that change. She didn't change any more numbers. And she did not want to take the $4,181 worth of prizes, so she went for the car. So now, that second number, was it indeed a 1 and not a 9? Yes, it was a 1. I knew I felt good on that. Now the third number I was a little worried about. Was the third number an 8? Ah, it was a 3. Seven was the fourth number, and the last number was zero. Twenty-one thousand three seventy was the actual retail price. Laura played double prices for a three-piece stainless steel kitchen, which included a thirty-six-inch self-cleaning gas range, a twenty-four point five cubic foot side-by-side -side refrigerator, and a twenty-four-inch built-in double drawer dishwasher modeled by Manuela. Laura chose the high price of eight thousand one fifty over the low price of six thousand three eight. And when she revealed the actual retail price, it was six thousand three eighty. I had a feeling it was going to be that price. Lisa played cliffhangers for an Ashley Company Shea bedroom group that included a Luxor Comfort Air Queen mattress plus. 
two Barnes & Noble Nook Color Reader Tablets, all modeled by Amber, valued at $6,312. Manuela modeled the three small prizes, which were an electric juicer, an AC Delco solar radio, and a mini cupcake maker. First off, for the juicer, Lisa believed it was $23. It was not $23. Mountain Climber went up six steps. Manuel revealed the price to be $17. For the solar radio, she believed it was $37. Not $37. Mountain Climber went up nine more steps. Manuel revealed the price to be $28. So now, for the mini cupcake maker, she cannot miss it by more than $10. She said it was $25. It was not $25. So the least it could be was $15, and the most it could be was $35. Now, i got to be honest, I really wasn't feeling too good about that price. I was thinking it was $40. Let's see what happened. Well, the mountain climber went up to the 16th step, then the 17th step, then the 18th step, then the 19th step, then the 20th step, and he stopped! The price was $30, Manuel revealed it to be. Wow, I, I really thought she was going to lose, but wow, Lisa pulled a very surprising win. Great. Ernest, who is in the Naval Academy, played Bullseye for a trip to New Orleans, modeled by Manuela. And guess how much this trip cost? $27,845. As my past special guest, Keith Charming 0911, would ask me, Surely you can't be serious. Oh, believe me, I am serious. A $27,845 trip down to the Big Easy was at stake in Bullseye. Ernest first bought two Saran Premium plastic wraps. Each plastic wrap, small box of it, was $1.99. Two of them sold $3.98. He got a mark. Next, he chose the La Cream Raspberry Yogurt. He bought four of those. Each one cost two sixty nine. a four-pack of that yogurt. And that was a total of $10.76! Bullseye! Wow! Ernest is on his way down to the Big Easy, New Orleans. Wow, worth $27,845. Amazing. Doris played Switch for a Can-Am DS90 off-road vehicle model by Manuela and an advanced 50-inch Samsung 3D Plasma HDTV with two pairs of 3D glasses model by Amber. Doris switched the prices. So the price of $24.99 on the off-road vehicle, Manuela brought that over to the HDTV and the price of $3,300 was brought over to the off-road vehicle by Amber. Doris almost had second thoughts of not switching the prices. And you know something? I wish she didn't switch them. I knew they were right the way they were. That off-road vehicle was $24.99 and the HDTV was $3,300. Finally, Casey played Line em Up for a Chevrolet Colorado regular cab modeled by Amber. First number was one, last number was four. Taking the price of the outdoor great room company gas grill that was modeled by Amber, $498, Casey lined up the nine as the second number. For the rolling backpack that wasn't modeled, she lined up the five as the third number. Price was $59. Gas grill, 498 by the way. Upright exercise bike that was modeled by Manuela. Casey chose the 7 as the fourth number, and not the 2 of the 5, taking the 725 price. She made the price of the truck 19574 That was not the price. And how many numbers did she get right? One. So, in her second chance, she changed the 9 to an 8, and she changed the 7 to a two, making the new price eighteen thousand five twenty four.
and the actual retail price eighteen thousand nine seventy four. Seems like she had that seven right in her first chance. So, today we had two big pricing games won. They were Cliffhangers and Bullseye, plus $11,000 won by Laura in the first Showcase Showdown. She is an MVP because, not only because of that $11,000 win, but she also won her Showcase involving a trip to Amsterdam and a Hyundai Genesis Coupe. And also the MVPs for today are Lisa and Ernest for winning their pricing games. Ernest, big props. $27,845 trip to New Orleans? Hell yeah! This week's sponsor for the Price is Right Price Game Recap is sponsored by Big Newton! Chewy cookies made with real fruit. See you tomorrow!